If you haven't heard of Dr. Royal Raymond Rife, this is someone who's been referred to by those who personally knew him as a genius. He was a scientist and inventor, and starting in the 20s, he began building a large and very complex microscope capable of magnifying objects 31,000 times, compared with the maybe 1,700 times that were available on standard microscopes in the 30s and 40s. The reason you haven't heard of Royal Rife is because he was a he was a crank. Unfortunately, the guy, even though he may have been very smart engineering wise, et cetera, he got you know went down a rabbit hole that led nowhere. Um, but just like a lot of you know cranks from from times past, phrenology, et cetera, things like that, they they tend to have a second life within the alternative science, alternative medicine community. No good bad idea goes to waste. It's a good way to review like how science actually works because this is you know it gives an example of what happens when it goes wrong so new discoveries like let's say something like a fantastically powerful microscope you know were real uh that that uh, those kind of discoveries don't come out of nowhere you know there's always a trail there's multiple different scientists working on different aspects of the basic science and then you know by the time the technology is you know basically ready to be invented Multiple people usually are sort of converging on it at the same time. Rarely does one researcher get way out ahead of the pack, you know, really far ahead of the worldwide scientific community where they're just making these amazing breakthroughs. Usually those kind of advances are more incremental. But let's say that he did get two or three steps ahead. You know, he's working away in his lab and he hit upon something and then, you know, rather than publishing papers all along the way and having the technology, you know, again, be more spread out. He just sort of worked away until he had multiple, multiple advances all at once. Um, fine, not, Im not impossible, just not the way things typically happen. It'd be unusual. But let's say that happened. Then what would happen? He would show it to the scientific world. They would evaluate it. It would go through the meat grinder of peer review. And if it actually worked, if he actually were on to something, you, you would see multiple people replicating his work. And then, you know, his equipment would be improved upon and would become standard equipment in every biology lab. Why doesn't every lab have a Royal Rife microscope with those incredible, you know, levels of magnification? There's a simple answer, because the thing doesn't work. It's this ridiculous kludge. I don't know how he thought it was supposed to work, but it doesn't actually work. Uh, so that's why it went nowhere. It was a dead end. It couldn't be replicated. It didn't do anything useful. It turns out he was, it was, you know, just more hallucinations than anything else. He thought he was seeing vibrating organisms, but he really wasn't. It was just artifactual. It's like the end rays of physics. It was the same story where French scientists thought that they, they discovered end rays. Turns out they were just fooling themselves. And it, for that reason, you know, under under properly controlled conditions, it couldn't be replicated and it, it died away. That's why you've never heard of end rays. They don't exist. By the same token, Royal Rife's machine doesn't work. And all of the things that derive from it are not true. They're not reality. You can't just come up with the magic frequency of an invading organism and, you know, destroy it with these frequencies. That doesn't exist. We don't treat infections this way because it doesn't work, because it's not real. And therefore what happens is people who don't understand the normal process of science and are not able to evaluate things in a more objective way, they just like the idea that this crazed maverick scientist came up with this fantastic invention, they have to invent a conspiracy, right? Then you have to say, well, scientists didn't want to make this discovery because they wanted to protect the profits of their their friends in the medical field who wanted to prescribe drugs or the pharmaceutical industry shut this down or people are just so ready to believe that these monolithic organizations are able to exert such incredible control. It's just ridiculous. By the time anyone figured out that there was a therapeutic application to a technology like this, the basic physics and the basic science and the engineering and the technology would have been out there. There would have been a hundred labs able to make these microscopes before anyone could prove 
that it was some kind of it could be you know leveraged as in a therapeutic way you know and there would be no way for anyone to shut it down or to create some kind of conspiracy of silence if you know right now we're struggling you know with the antibiotic resistance and if we had a non antibiotic way of killing in, infectious organisms it would be wonderful um you also have to ask yourself in the last 50 plus years, why hasn't, if that you know, invention is based on real science, real physics, why hasn't it been rediscovered? Well, how, why, you know, is the guy such a genius that even 50 years later, knowing what he did, no one is able to reproduce those, those microscopes or that phenomenon, it, you know, leverage the same kind of physics in order to achieve similar ends? It's ridiculous. It makes absolutely no sense. The far simpler story is, is that he was wrong. He was chasing a scientific dead end. It went nowhere. They, his results couldn't be replicated. They didn't reflect actual reality. And it's just a footnote in the history of scientific missteps. If it weren't for the alternative medicine conspiracy theorists, only medical historians would ever know about it just like only people with an interest in the history of physics would know about NRAs. It's the same thing. But there's a lot of money to be made convincing people that there is this one weird trick or this, this hack or this hidden technology, the hidden cure that they don't want you to have, but they're willing to sell it to you. Uh, so that keeps it alive. The al alternative medicine, if you will, you know, fake medicine, cottage industry keeps this stuff going. Uh, but it's not real. And it, it doesn't make any sense uh, to think that Royal Rife was on to anything real. If he were, we would all be using it now. That's the bottom line.